Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today I'm just going to be showing you um, what we're after doing to our calving boxes. We're after taking them out and we're changing it into a shed for putting in calves, yearlings, wainlings, whatever you want to call them. Not, not suck calves on milk now but for stronger calves for the winter. So as you can see there we have the concrete troughs we've got, we just got them today. Uh, L shaped troughs, they'll be pushed in along the concrete there, the concrete uh, curb and um, that should really all we have to do. So that shed inside was the calving boxes to um, the timber shed as we call it, cubicles up there because we used to milk cows and that shed was put up to accommodate the milking herd but we got out of that after we lost all the cows to TB but that's neither here nor there. So um, so yeah, you can see there the drinkers every couple of steps for every pen that was in it. So I'll go inside and I'll have a look but at the minute you can see now that was all sheeted down and we took out all of the boards to knock it up that high so it's about four boards high and we're going to put a rail on the inside to hopefully stop them from pushing out the boards on the outside and that should we're hoping will do the job so at the minute now we aren't going to be putting a canopy on it or anything but this is just a quick a quick job just because we'd like to be um, getting ready for cattle and we just um, we we'll might do it next year, do a proper job, but the intention is to put a swinging door on it that you'll be able to open the door and close it over the truss to stop the feed getting wet and to stop the wind blowing into the shed and then close it in then when you want to feed them. What you see in a lot of sheds. But that is the plan, but we probably won't get it done this year. So I'll see if I can fit in here. So yeah, just about get in here. So this is the old cubicle shed. So as you can see there, we did leave some of the guests. Now we still have to take out a lot of what is in here. But you can still see the old gates. We're leaving them there just as a bit of a windbreak. Um, just in case the tra just in case there be a bit of a breeze coming in. Just so the cattle can lie down behind it. So we've lots of, lots of space in here. We have a bit of a trouble with a gutter pouring over at the bottom there. But that's just a matter of um, cleaning that out. And that should be okay then. But um, as you can see then, the bottom there's a concrete pen which used to be an old isolation pen or bull pen or whatever you want to call it. Um, now the plan, the plan is well, we have a couple of different plans. We are on about putting a, a mound in the middle and a scraper either side because there's slats at the bottom. So you could run um, automatic scrapers into it and we'll have to knock out that wall there which is the plan regardless that all will, wall will be coming up but not this year and there'll be a scraper or two scrapers we're, we're still not sure what we were going to do around about putting cubicles on the other side and a walkway the other side or putting in just rising up with concrete or we're not very sure what we'll do with it yet but it will be done that there'll be an automatic at least one automatic scraper scraping it down to the end because it's an open slatted pen or slats at the bottom so that is the plan that is the shed so um, that's really it from me now. Hopefully now when we get it all done, I might do a video when we have cattle in it, just as a follow up to this, but when we do next year or year after, whenever we get it fully done to, to the standard we want, um, I'll do another video just showing you all how it come along. So that is it for me. If you have any suggestions or anything like that, please hit me in the comments down below. That is it for me. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Good luck!